This celebrity watch review is on business executive or the most unknown boyfriend out of the Kardashian clan, Corey Gamble. So believe it or not, Kris Jenner's boyfriend, Corey Gamble, has an extensive watch collection. Now, he doesn't wear his APs anymore because in the past, he was spotted wearing several 44 millimeter variations in rose gold and ceramic, and even one of his all-time favorites back then, 41 millimeter all yellow gold with the blue dial. But he's moved beyond past that, and contrary to what others have led us to believe, he does have an extensive Rolex collection, and that's how we're gonna start first. So for Rolex, man has several Daytonas. He's got a stainless steel black ceramic with the black dial, always a good choice. He's got a Daytona yellow gold with the green dial, very hot watch for 2019. Both rainbows, the one that comes with the pave dial in rose gold, and the one that comes with the black dial in rose gold. He was spotted wearing both at the same time, I don't know how I feel about that. He's also got the watch that was released this year, which is yellow gold with the baguette bezel and kind of like a dial that almost looks like a leopard cheetah print with some lacquered accents. Good looking watch, a little bit extreme, but that's definitely a heavy hitter. Some sports models, GMT Rose Gold, Yacht Master 2 White Gold. Another thing is he's got a Sky Dweller White Gold Black leather strap with the black dial. Good looking watch too. I mean. Out of the Sky Dwellers on a leather strap, that's actually my favorite variation. Now, rumors say you can get one with the blue dial. I saw one the other day, but I'm not sure yet what that's all about. Presidentials. Guy loves his presidentials as well. He's got a Day Day 2 yellow black dial, very traditional. Day Day 2 platinum, one of my favorite. Day Day 40 rose gold green dial, again, hot watch in 2019. But the stunner above all is the Day Day 40 yellow gold with the pave dial, red ruby bezel with the ruby numbers. That's one of my favorite watches. Now I know it's a, a little bit gaudy and out there, but damn, that's a good looking watch. So for Rolex, that's pretty much what he has. One thing I want to also mention is he does have some diamond bling watches. He's got a Santos Cartier with diamonds. I wouldn't wear that watch even if it was for free. Um, he's also got a Day Date 40 white gold iced out. You know, he's got a little bit of bling. It's necessary, I guess, in today's celebrity, bougie things, whatever. But he's got some iced out pieces. So besides the Daytona rainbows and his Day Date 40 with the rubies on it, what really speaks all the volume in his collection is the Pateks. And Mama's been good to him with this Patek collection and he's definitely keeping up with the Kardashians. So right off the bat, the guy likes the Aquanauts. He's got the 5168, which is the large millimeter case that came out in white gold. He's got it both in blue and the green. He's got the 5968 Chrono, large case as well, hard to get, orange strap is where I feel it looks the best. That's a good looking watch. The only one that I'm not sure, and I feel like there's a flag on the play, is the 50. 62 Aquanaut with the full baguette face. Now, Corey, it's a good looking watch, but I think that's a lady's watch. You know, unless you had one one off made and you're some type of, uh, you know, prince of some Arab country or someone of that level, I think, and I could be wrong, that it's a lady's model. Nevertheless, still dope, but leave it at home. Nautiluses, he's got the 5711 Platinum with the sapphire blue bezel. He's also got the 5723 Rose Gold with the red rubies. Killer watch right there. 5719 All Diamond, seems to be that any A-list celebrity now has to have that factory set diamonds and baguette, you know, Aquanaut 5711. It's like a must right now. I feel like they're handing them out in every red carpet event. He's got the 5740 Perpetual Calendar. Cool watch, I mean, I'm not crazy about it, but it's a heavy hitter. Both 40th anniversaries, the 5976 and the 5711. I'm gonna go ahead and say that those are his favorite because he wears them all the time. Now, for his leather strap watches, he's got some nice ones. 5905 Annual Calendar Patek, 5231J, which is pretty much a yellow gold world timer. 
fine timepiece, 5520p, which is an alarm travel pilot style watch. You know, I'm not crazy about the Patek line, but you know, they are kind of hot and is Patek after all, kind of has a little bit of a styling of like a vintage pilot watch. But the one he has is special, was released this year, not an easy watch to get. The last two watches that I'm gonna cover of his collection are pretty much my favorite ones. These are the watches that I saw him wearing and I actually said, holy shit, this guy really likes watches. Like, yes, of course, he's got the ones with the bling and the sapphires and the rubies, but these are very particular watches. He's got two 6102 Celestials. Now I love the Celestial. He's got one in rose gold and one in platinum. And for that, I salute you. I think those are the nicest watches of your entire collection. So in conclusion, Corey Gamble has a nice taste in watches and he likes exquisite pieces. Now, that being said, I feel like he's ready and maybe wants a richer mill. I don't know, maybe mama said no. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Corey's collection is a solid eight. And believe it or not, he's one or two richer mills away from being a nine. So feel free to comment below how you feel about Corey Gamble's watch collection. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell to it looks like this. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, this is Watcher Style.